Hi, Angela from Didsbury Piano here. Here's a quick video to remind you how the rhythms go that we use in Piano Safari. We're using syllabic counting with tars and tatties and also the animal rhythm patterns to create longer chains of beats. So our first one here, musicians call these kind of notes crotchets. They last for one count eight. For our syllable, we say tar. So this is simply ta, 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 ta or Charlie Chipmunk. Our next one here, we're using these ones which are joined together. Each one of these lasts for half a beat each, so these two together make a pair of notes that add up to one beat. They're called quavers. And we say tatty for each pair of quavers. So this rhythm here is tatty, tatty, ta, ta, or Zechariah Zebra. These ones here, which aren't filled in, last for two counts each. So we simply say ta two. So this rhythm here would be ta two, ta two, or hippo, with a nice long sound on each. Here we've got another rhythm pattern that's using the quavers and the crotchets, so the half beat notes and the one beat note. And so for this, we simply say ta ti ta, or kangaroo. For tall giraffe, we've got two crotchets followed by a minim, that's our two beat note. So this is ta, 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 two, or tall giraffe. And the final one here, musicians call this one, which doesn't have a tail on it, it's like a blob. We call that a semi breathe, and that lasts for four counts. So we say ta, two, three, four on those, or roar, two, three, four. We call that the lion roar, because these correspond to the techniques that we'll be using in the safari book. So students at this point will already probably know the lion roar, Charlie Chipmunk as well, and coming up soon, they'll be having the tall giraffe, the kangaroo, and the zebra. So I hope that's helpful for you to practice them at home.